Um, I was I was a, a very good basketball player. I uh, won a state championship here, um, play AAU basketball against all the uh, top players in the country, and I was uh, I was pretty dominant. So I, I like to give all the credit to that to basketball. Can you throw one down right there? Also? Crack. For beneath the basket. Oh no. Mm -mm. What do you what do you remember no. about that state title in basketball? I remember that, that season and that game up here in Columbus. Thanks, man. That season, um, it was. We, I just remember everything was just clicking that year, but that game, like it just did not go as planned. Like we, we did not think we would win by 43. I remember going into halftime, we were, um, we were like all celebrating because we like took it, cause you know, it's hard to see the score with the, with the, with the big screen right there. So we all going into halftime, we take a look at the score. We see that we're up 30. So we go in there celebrating and all that. And coach Mitch come in yelling like, like, quit doing this and quit celebrating. We still got a whole half to play. We're like, coach, we up by 30. Like, what do you want us to do? <laughs> Who had the better game that day? You were going, you had quite, you had quite a stat line that night. Yeah, uh, I want to say me. Me. What kind of basketball player was he? Dwayne? Yeah. Um, a guy that played above the rim. He was a, with the high flyer, uh, hustle guy, dunk on you, score on you, pretty much. The best way to describe it is he played above the rim. What would you say has been the turning point in this season for you guys? Uh, Cardell said it was the Michigan State game. Devin said it's just an early adversity. What would you say is the turning point for this season? I feel like um, f for the offense, it probably was the early adversity. But for defense speaking, it was, it was definitely the Michigan State game. Um, we went into that game as the underdog. Uh, they. They um, was showing it all over TV, how everybody had us as the underdogs, and literally everybody chose us to lose. So, I mean, we kind of took that to heart, and we went out there and we played. And I think that kind of – that's a good thing that it carried over all for the rest of the season. Why, why was that game so important to your success? What was it about Michigan State? What was it about the time of the season? What was it about that game that meant so much? Um, well, for one, we lost to them in a the Big Ten championship. And – um. When um, they everybody kind of like based the Big Ten off of Michigan State, like Michigan State was always like the the team to beat. Uh, talking about uh, this this season, so um, and we feel like Ohio State should be that should be the ones that represent the Big Ten, and that's what we did. We went up there and won, and we uh, we uh, continued to win throughout the senior to, season to represent the Big Ten. What examples can you give that you saw from the defensive yeah. side of how they came together, how they that, that bonded? You talking about the offense? Yeah. <coughs> and from, from afar, how did you see it become better? How did you see it develop? Um, uh, the uh, coaches, uh, Coach Warner, Coach Herman, uh, Coach Smith, they all um, – Knew that the, uh, with, with um, Braxton going down, that they knew that they would have to get a lot more out of the the, of the players around the quarterback to uh, for him to succeed, and uh, they definitely got that done. And JT was very successful because uh, Coach Herman definitely put a lot of time into him, coached him up, and uh, got his job done with him.